What's up, my boy? Today, we are gonna do something very exciting. We have been living in Lisbon for a whole year, and we haven't been to the south coast of Algao while we lived here. It's way overdue that we are going to Algao to explore all the beauty and the supreme definition of chillaxing and enjoying the good life. On an excitement scale from 1 to 10, where are you right now? Um, 7. I'm a bit afraid of um, the amount of tourism here because August and July is the worst month uh, in terms of packedness. So we have six nights in Algarve. First two nights is in Cap Uh We're staying at the Tiuli Hotel. We're actually going there to uh, hook up with two of our good friends. One of our subscribers, uh, actually. It's gonna be epic. What do you need, I mean? I just need to stand up. You're like an old man? Yeah. You need ankle socks too. What are you most excited for? The beach. Beach, the beach, the beach, and the pool. So we are through the Via Verde second point. 20 euros and 95 cents is the price to drive the highway from Lisbon to Algao. So it's uh, actually the exact same as when you go up north. Also, here in Algao, and this is another pro tip, um, if you don't have a Via Verde, you'll have to go online and uh, register your license plate and pay online or in a designated shop otherwise they'll just send you the fees so we just had to uh, park the car because Amelia she has to reach her stand-up goal on her Apple watch come on we are in Elga we just got an early check-in and that's a good thing about this hotel but uh, we're not 100% excited about the hotel room here. So we paid 300 euros and the room isn't exactly amazing. Yeah, we got a stunning view to the parking lot. I thought there was a garden view here, but we'll get an upgrade. And I think we should because if you look at the room, it's not really like... Have a look. It almost looks like water damage and somebody put their beautiful nail polish in there. Ceiling look. I mean, it's not to it's not to be a spoiled bitch, but <laughs> at the same time, when you pay that much money, you want it to be good. I mean, it's a lot of money. Let's get an upgrade. Okay. Um, we're not particularly happy with our room, to be honest. Um, so it's five five seven. Um, we booked it based on the photos, which showed like a garden view or an area you can walk out to. Uh, but we're yeah, but it's it's like we have a view to the parking lot, and it feels like a basement. <laughs> so even though we found the room itself atrocious, we really, really like the hotel facilities because it's really beautiful, very simple, very corporate. All you hotel. need is this view here. I mean, that is spectacular. We got an upgrade. What? That is what I'm talking about. Actually, no, we didn't. But this is a room of our lovely friend staying here. So it's not our room, unfortunately. But let's go say hi to them, right? Mm -hmm. You haven't met them. Let's go. Paparazzi time. We put a couple of things on some, some lounges over there. Hey, Jason. Uh, hello. Cheers on that on. champagne. Cheers. This is Jason. Hey everyone. This is um, what's your name? Antonio. What's your name? Qual is your name? Are you shy on camera? Are you shy on camera? <laughs> He's completely paralyzed. So you. So you. Cheers, Anthony. <laughs> Anthony, um, this is actually one of our biggest donator on live stream. How much did you donate to us? And that's why we're friends today, by the way. You Dois euros. Dois euros. It came up in Australian dollars. So yeah, so it was 160 no, times two. It was like four Australian dollars. Oh my God! Thank oh you, Anthony. Anthony Junior. 
By the way, Anthony Jr. is your father, Tony Sopranos. Is that is that where you get your money from? <laughs> So obviously what makes this hotel special is the location because we are right next door to the postcard of El Gao. It's the cave beach right in there where these sightseeing guys are sailing now. And that's where you have the cave beach with a hole on top. It's pretty spectacular. And when it's low tide you can actually walk in there. Uh, so that's something we're gonna do later today, unless we get too drunk to even bother. I mean, that is the point of Algao, right? Get drunk, not a care in life. How, how am I supposed to get over here? Jon? And then up here? Yeah, I'm not blind. Hey guys! I'm jumping up! Ah, ah. I'm jumping up! Ah. No, it's the same as Arabi, oh. Amelia. Oh, okay. But it's so refreshing. I feel like Bradley Cooper in that scene of Limitless. Suddenly, I knew exactly what I needed to do. It wasn't writing. It was vlogging! <laughs> <laughs> Are you less insecure now? I'm shrunk. Anthony is uh, he's a subscriber no. and and he is one of the best things about making videos on YouTube because on YouTube you get to meet people like-minded so um, yeah we're having a bit of a euphoric moment here Did you see anything in there? Oh, I think the cape that I actually swim into with Jason is the famous cape, you know, the one with the hole on top? Yeah. Because it was a hole on top, but it wasn't giant. It was small. It looked really, really cool. Let's get some alcohol. Nice dip. Yeah, that was really great. We are in the pool with all the kids and all the pee and all the drunk names. Mommy! 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 <laughs> so this is literally the best protection pill you can get coming in the water here in, in Algarve. You get really happy that you don't have any kids yet. I know I sound like a bitch, but I mean, I'm still not a mother. Well, that's been your theme today. <laughs> What's the plan for a dinner? So, um, Anthony, he's like the trip advisor whore. Of the, um, of the of the of the foursome, yeah. But that's what I'm saying. Like you're the real trip advisor. You know, you're not the Rick yes. kind of. But every restaurant we pick, you and says todos estarán nos clientes. We you and this é muito longe, demora muito tempo, é muito tarde. 
Jon, you are too drunk for the for putting the camera here in the pool. Honestly, tomorrow <laughs> we are lazing by the pool, and then we're going on a boat to go and look at some of the caves by the sea. Man cave, <laughs> women cave. So I go by myself. I think there's a nice oven cleaner store in Cabuero. What does that mean? I don't know. An oven cleaner store? What does that mean? An that oven cleaner. Because women, they love oven, you know, they're supposed to care about oh, oven. Oh, I thought you were saying her cave is dirty. She needs to clean it. So, Amelia, are you still filming? Yeah. Amelia gets 10 out of 10. Ewan? <laughs> For what? For what? <laughs> 10 out of... Kind of. Kind of. Beauty. Amelia, do you know how to handle the camera? Do you know the settings? <laughs> so they're fighting over who is gonna pay for dinner. Can you give me a glass of wine? No. Now we're talking. <sighs> we did manage to get an upgrade. So I just got so excited for the rest of our stay here. Thank you, Tivoli Hotel. So in my opinion, all the rooms here should be like this one because this is a basic but classy hotel room. And what I like uh, is that if you're here with your girlfriend, uh, not with your friend, that would be awkward. But here in the bathroom, you have a glass through which makes everything much more spacious, okay? So I'm right there. Hey, the glass, you can see me through the glass. Hi, hi. I like the room here. But you have to be an asshole to get the room here because I was quite persistent uh, in the reception. <laughs> but I learned that from my mother. How are you sitting in the, the classy limo? Oh, it's a small car. I think she has a 9 out of 10 head rate when it comes to complaining about hotel rooms. So maybe it's just me who's uh, demanding. I don't care. My vacation just got better. Let's get some booze. What's up, my boys? Friendship. To friendship. Amizade. Uh, Amizade. Friendship. I hope Cheers. you guys are enjoying how we enjoy life today. Because that's basically what VL Gav is all about. Enjoying, right? But we won't bring you guys for dinner today because we are gonna enjoy our company and then we're gonna see you again tomorrow morning. Ah, uh, not morning. And then we'll see you again tomorrow when we are gonna do something exciting, but we can't tell you until tomorrow. We can or we won't. <laughs> we won't. It's a surprise for, for from these guys, so... Uh, Aren't yeah. you excited? 